Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Technique Thursday. It's Lynn, and today I'm working in my 12 Days of Christmas journal. I'm going to be working on it, I think, all of December. So today, what I'm working on is the fourth day of Christmas. So let's find out what the fourth day of Christmas is all about in the song. So I'm going to stick with my spray. So I have some flat Fabio here, Danny Zuko's denim. Just going to, um, as I said in the last video, I'm going with what colors are on the sticker strips. So this is four calling birds. So that's what I'm going, that's how I decided it's going to be blue. So let's just give it a spritz and hopefully we don't get it everywhere. I'm just lightly spraying this page. There we go. A little bit of spritz, a little bit of dry. I'm working with uh, like parchment paper on my desk because I get so uh, messy when you spray. And I didn't want to spray all the elements, so... There we are, so we'll just get rid of that part of it and continue on. So, how's everybody's day? What's going on? Come on, praise and pray, what's happening? I decided to use some scrapbook paper today. Yep. So what I'm going to do is use Maxine's idea for the pockets. So I cut out a square and then just cut it in half and I'm going to make pockets and then this is where I'm going to uh, tuck my journaling. I think I'm going to make um, some little journaling cards. So uh, with the glue stick and of course we don't want to glue the whole thing or it's not a pocket. So just going to glue the edges. So I have enough room to put my little cards in. I love decorating these pages. And you know what else I love? Going in the group and seeing all the pages. Wow, so many have joined us for this Christmas journey we're on and I'm so blessed. I was quite nervous about the 12 days of Christmas thinking it's not a traditional advent journal and how are people going to receive that? And I'm so glad you guys like it. So happy. Always so happy. All right. So I thought I'd keep this, the theme of the scrapbook going. And what I did was I took the paper and just cut around to put the readings on in the question. And today, the fourth day of Christmas represents the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And those speak to when Jesus walked on earth and what his teachings were and what his words were. So the Gospels are pretty powerful books of the Bible where we hear what Jesus had to say and how he lived his life. So I thought, oh yeah, that'd be cute. We're just, we're just going with the flow today, people. How's praise and pray? Is everybody getting ready for Christmas? I am, I'm ready. I've been phoning my kids and saying, what do you guys want for Christmas? Hopefully something big. I've had quite the out with my dizzies and I'm doing some crazy physiotherapy and uh, some days it's tough to be in a mall for me so I'm hoping I can do some big gifts for the kids this year if I had grandbabies well that's different but as you know there's no grandbabies happening in my world yet okay that little pocket is holding up a little I love these word art, and when I discovered there's 12 word art, I was so excited. So I could put one on each page. And I apologize, my battery is flashing, it's almost dead. I will go grab the other one and we will be right back. All right, we are back. I tell you, I have four camera batteries. I just bought two new ones, said they were fully charged. I turn on the camera, they look charged, and then they go, yeah, no, we're not charged. So, okay, back to business. 
our four Gospels. And the question today is, how can you make room for Jesus in your heart this Christmas? We get really busy. We get busy doing cooking and baking and Christmas cards and tree decorating and all these things that are, yes, they're part of Christmas, but also we need to spend time in his word. That's what Christmas is all about, is spending time with Jesus, acknowledging Mary and Joseph for bringing him into this world. Can you imagine Mary? I think of that so often. I go, wow. The angel of God comes and says, you're going to have a baby. And you're going, what? <laughs> Can you imagine that? What what faith and following she had to, to go with what the angel of God had told her. Amazing. It's an amazing, amazing story. So, four calling birds, three French hens. <laughs> Don't you feel like singing the song while you're doing it? I know I do. I'm a little crazy. I know. I cut some of the snowflakes from the stickers. And I think I'm going to put those there. I did my fourth day because I tell you I'm having a hard time getting those stickers off. So maybe we'll put that one there. Four calling birds. I love these little tags that come with the cards. So I got to put that somewhere. Where are we going to put that? Maybe right here. Jesus was truly a gift for us. Truly he was. And the little tag. And the fourth is Sunday. So we'll just tack that on there. Seeing these pages don't have to be they don't have to be long and drawn out and we're busy this season and that's why I wanted a journal that we could work at on our own time. That we would have something that we could do each day if we want or prep our pages, get them ready to, to do, spend time in his word but not be stressed over it. And, oh my gosh, I have to do something every day for 24 days. I just, I didn't want that for our group. I want us to relax and enjoy the journey of faith and the journey of Jesus. And it's such a blessing to do this all with you. And I'm so grateful. And Ryan and I are so thankful to all of you that bought the journals. Like, wow, you guys are awesome. So, la, la, la. Let's talk about Ryan. What do you think Ryan's getting me for Christmas? Anybody got a guess? Margaret, are you helping him? Should I give you some suggestions? <clears throat> Sorry. Losing my voice. Maybe I could give a list of uh, things Lynn wants for Christmas. And uh, Ryan's actually a really good shopper. <clears throat> he always buys me the best gifts. I got a purse one year and a watch and he gets really cool stuff. So I'm wondering what he's going to come up with this year. So, put that there. Not sure what else we could put on here. I don't know where to put my calling birds because I don't want to, when I put my tags, maybe I should put it on this. I'll put it on this side because I don't want to cover up my little tags or the four calling birds. And... I love these. Okay, so we'll put that there. So I guess we're not going to use this pocket. Or maybe I'll just stick a little tag in that pocket. What do you think? That's a good idea. We're going to leave this guy hanging out. And we have a cool arrow. Where should we put the arrow? Maybe we'll put it somewhere where we can still see what's going on on the page. I still have to get the little journaling cards ready. I haven't done that yet. I'm just page prepping. So there we are. Like what a quick page. It's done. It's ready for the journaling. And that's what I like to spend my time on is the reflection of the journaling. So thank you so much everyone for joining me today. I will see you next week. And I will meet y'all in praise and pray. God bless. Bye-bye.